And as you can see right there, it's quite playable. Good but God. quite stuttery. And also let me just skip this. Oopsie. No. Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found it doesn't matter. Okay, now this is one of the most intensive part because this is where the smoke effect is gonna come, and the experience itself it's quite not that bad as you expected. Uh, 30 FPS. Um, also, um, this is VSync enabled because apparently it's turned on by automatically. Since after getting inside the game after two and a half months, as it's right there, it's not that playable but slightly stuttery you see see it's even the disabled so it's how I was gonna say it's a 30 fps experience or like playstation experience it's like a playstation experience but yet again it's very playable you cannot judge it you know I mean, it's amazing in design the way they make. But yet again, this is physics intensive. Hey, but due to how demanding the game is, um, the frame rate will lose with a lot. But yet again, this is one of the most important. I mean, imagine how intense this game is. And yet again, this game won't be that intensive if it was physics heavily based. And other than right there, we're getting 30s and stuff. And it's quite playable. I played this game before. And you cannot judge its performance. So here's the result of the performance itself. So these are the settings that I found on what I was recording. Um, these are the resolution of the scaling. And this is a, like a 30 FPS experience, especially when recording, but when not recording, you may get super high frame rate. And since this is with the CPU based, which is this one, uh, it's kind of pressurized. This is this was recorded at 6900 native, which is the game resolution at complete max settings. The frame rate was running around 31 FPS, average frame rate was 27, 1% lows with 18 FPS, and 0.1% lows at 7 FPS. Yes, I did record before I uploaded it on YouTube, so um, this was like some of some of them were cut, so um, I kind of tested it even with recording. It was like 7 FPS at water hazard when water detail with semi open world. So um, yeah, it was pretty nice appearance. And move on to the next game. And as you can see right there, Half Life Source is absolute playable. I was baffled by this experience. And I was like, why not just play Lambda Core? Because Lambda Core is one of the most intensive. And then at the same time, I was like, nah, it was too boring. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system. And I was suddenly like, why not just try Chapter 4? And then, because, you know. I like chapter 4 a lot. Welcome to the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. Now that it's right there, this is quite playable. Around 100 frame rate. Interesting. I can feel the smoothness in this game. Because it's too smooth to play, because look at this, hundreds of frame rate. So IntelliJ graphics can in fact play this game with no problem. I mean look at this. Hundreds of frame rates are being pushed. Meanwhile 
remember 900p at max settings and nothing is happening right now and we're getting this is the f this much frame rate but don't worry at the later on stage it's quite playable it is really playable you cannot judge it you know the loading time however it's fast It's more playable than any other video games that I was gonna see right there. Sure. But you must one thing is that how is this playable? I mean that's not enough. Well you can tweak down the settings to make it more playable. And yet again, this is hundreds of hundreds of frame rate. As is super smooth, even on low end PCs can run this with no problem. I'm but due to performance, you cannot judge. It is too much playable. And look at this smoothness, see? Hundreds of frame rate. In some video games it may drop. But then again, this one dropped that easily since this is a modified type. I don't think I can last much longer. And again, this is 100 FPS experience. You can't even play this game at higher frame rate. And this game also have no problem to play with, but then again, the loading screen are fast, but if you have a hard drive, this will be even faster. right there it's so playable it's an absolute buttery smooth Well, the smooth that it has, it's absolutely insane. And I kind of like this game a lot. Because since this is an old source engine. Come on, can't I take that really? Fine. And again, this is the benchmark that I got from the video before recording completely. Now we're in the benchmark and this is what I actually found. Let me just go to the benchmark and let me just do it very like real quick. Oh, not this one. Oopsies. One. 
have to do it quick because my dad is gonna come. My dad's gonna beat me to death if you see this. I'm playing video games in late night. Native max settings. And this is the frame rate that I got when recording. And when not recording, I get around 200. Even if it's recording, it still matters. I get around 135 maximum. Average frame rate was around 80, 95 or 96. On uh, 97, I think, and one person lows was around was like 56 and 0.1 percent lows was around like 20s, and this was the benchmark of Half Life Source. And this is the final game, so we're gonna go it right away. It's a racing game. So, um, or maybe not. So let's just go to another game real quick. As you can see right there, this is Half-Life Lost Coast. I was saying well, that I'm gonna test some racing games, but, um, I don't have any time. So, um, yeah. And this is the Half-Life Lost Coast. Hey! You there? Wait a minute now, aren't you? Oh, uh, you are. Yeah, the physics is oh. Please, fish me. Am I right? And again, you this, must is, be here this game is quite intensive. The latest available on Steam, though. Open the gate for God's sake. And as I can see right there, how intensive this water is. This is the, one of the most intensive startups. Which is right here. 18 FPS. If I hold something, it may drop. Or stay stable. This is one of the most intensive areas ever in the life. Again, uh, this game is also like there's a beta version of the game, which is even more intensive than this. Now, let me just unlock this gate for you. Got the key right, right here. There we go. Get along now, laddie. De destroy that gun and no dawdling. See, it's quite playable at top, but if you look down, man, this is terrible. Trying to do some combat fights, so let's see what happens. <laughs> and as it's right there, it's quite playable. I expected way worse coming. But I did not expect this. Man, they, uh, man, can do they even know how to shoot? Like seriously? Oh my God. Just fucking. 
Bro, I'm not even like using cheats right now. Like, what's going on? Man, this game is bugged. And also at the same time, it wouldn't be buggy if you look at this scenery. It's not that intensive as you thought, as you think. But if you look here, if you look at this, it's kind of intensive for some reason. This is pretty much like has just like half like source. But yet again, this is a beta version. This is supposed to be a Highway 17 part, but it was completely cut due to its for some re for no reason. Fucking kidding me. And thanks for the music though by the way. Yeah. Oh shit. Something's terrible gonna happen. Rocket? Alright, I think we're something. Something terrible is going to happen. Oh shit. This is one of the most intense. They're gonna break in, isn't it? Look at this, it's super intensive. Except at top though, but at down? 14 FPS, it's not good. This is every single Half-Life type. It's not good. Oh shit! You did it, lad. Come on with me to St. Olaf. We'll celebrate this victory with a leech. I, uh, like leeches. Where are you going? You're getting close to around the edges. And this is well, the end of the I benchmark. I guess you got other places to be. Uh, nice knowing ya. And that's the end of the benchmark. Now let's test. Alright, so I finished the calculation and this is what I found. The FPS was currently going on right now was like around 28 to 33 FPS. Good. The average frame rate was around 25 FPS. 1% lows around 18 FPS. And 0.1% lows were 13 to 14 FPS. Which is quite nice, you know, especially for a terrible, 
iGPU, which is quite a weak one, but can somehow run this game at this frame rate. But this is when recording, remember guys, all of these things a benchmark right here are when recording since I don't have a capture card. And yeah, when not recording, it will I ran once and oh boy, did it feel good. It was running on like 21 FPS or like 25 at the most intensive area. And the least in intensive area was on like around 40 so or 30 plus experience. I know it's odd, but you can enable VSync to have PlayStation experience if you really don't want one of those high buggy frame rate experience. 30 FPS is quite a lot for Half Life 2 Lost Coast or any other Half Life. But if you want for benchmark, and yeah, there it is. These are the benchmark. Let me just turn off quick, and I'm gonna total show each and every single thing. Okay, first one, which is this one. First we have Half-Life 2, which is ran kind of good. But yet again, uh, I mostly recommend that if you want full experience, I mostly recommend not to record the game at max settings because it's a terrible idea. So what you need to do, the trick is that use your textures and your model at very uh, like ultra settings and keep the rest of them extremely low and enable multiple rendering to increase more frame rate then so you use more threads and cores and stuff so um yeah it's useful and this is at max setting so you don't have to worry much this is a 30fps experience almost like a playstation experience which is quite nice it, like the 0 0.1 lowest is 7 fps is because due to some stutters like there's some stuttery issues and yeah and that's why it's 7 and Half-Life Source ran really really well and of course this will be 20 FPS that I played because of how intensive the water was I played it before this is when recording because I cut some of the content to show that how intensive waters are so um yeah and this is the how intensive it was like 20 FPS it ran horrible in water like any other chapter like residue processing and then chapter 12 surface tension lambda core and stuff yeah those are intensive but you can run half-life source with no problem i'll link in the description of the mod of these types of of them itself and for number four and half-life to lost coast ran really bad and the reason it's speculated to be like this is because this is the frame rate that it runs like this as a system. I mean, just just made ran really well though. It was like the uh, kind of fluctuation, like 28 to 33, and something downgrade from 28 and reach from 34, like that. It completely like, fluctuates a lot. Fluctuation problems. And 0 0.1% lows it to 13 to 14 FPS. Is this kind of odd? But hey. It's quite playable. So, do I recommend the Intel HD graphics Clark Dell? Of course, no, because you know. Of course, no, because this is a very old iGPU. Some you have something like Ultra HD graphics 3650 or 630 or 750. It runs way better. Like an i7 8th gen. It's quite cheap at ebay though <laughs> but again hey i5 6500 kill like the hd covers 4000 run way 10 times better than this igpu see even after all those types of boost solutions it ran horrible so um yeah and that's about it so thanks for watching i guess so bye bye see you next time for more videos i'm sorry for my editing because my editing sucks so it will take time to learn and my exam is tomorrow so yeah thanks for watching subscribe like and share and comment down below if you see how good and how was the feeling of testing these three games and in the next episode it will be part two so thanks for watching the video so bye bye